our hot button this morning, a cure for snoring. Millions of Americans affected by it every night. Now a new study may have found the solutions. Jesse's in the social square with the details. Hey, Jesse. That's right, George. It's a story we first saw on Yahoo Health. For nearly three months, researchers put snores to the test to see if a daily regimen of four different tongue exercises could help alleviate their snoring. So did it work? On Grey's Anatomy, Derek and Meredith's romance is stifled by her snoring. You snore a little. What? I do not. In real life, snoring affects 90 million people in the U.S. But a new study in the journal chest shows there could be a simple solution. Exercise for your tongue and mouth. Brazilian researchers had 39 men and women between the ages of 20 to 64 do a sequence of mouth and tongue exercises three times a day for eight minutes. They found it reduced the frequency of snoring by 36% and total power of snoring by 59%. Everybody's very excited when they can do something that doesn't involve prescription medications. Um, there's no downside to it. And that is music to the ears of snores and spouses alike. As 25% of couples report sleeping in separate bedrooms to escape that dreaded sound. And Americans spend millions on remedies, including nose strips, mouth guards, and sprays. And the most common treatment for sleep apnea, a more serious cause of snoring, is a CPAP machine which forces air into the airways through a mask over your nose and mouth. In order for us to breathe at night, air has to pass through your nose, to the back of the nose, and to the back of the throat, and then into your airway. These exercises will help those passageways stay open. Reducing these nighttime noises and providing much needed rest and relief. While the sample size of participants was small, the results of the exercises are actually very promising. All right, well, good. Now, Jen Ashton is here as well. <laughs> You're chuckling a little bit, but first tell us about the science behind snoring. What's actually going on in our yeah, bodies? Yeah, so it's, it's physics, okay? It's all about airflow. Normally, what, when you're breathing in and you're sleeping, there's no disturbance to the airflow in your upper airway passages, so that's your nose and your mouth. What happens in snoring is there's floppy tissue in the back of the mouth, the soft palate or the throat, the tonsils. It could even be in your adenoids. <sighs> There you go. <laughs> oh, is that my husband? <laughs> and it oh, makes no. that very loud noise. And this oh, is, nice. yeah, there you go. <laughs> Big we're, we're, we're all covered in lights. Right, exactly. <laughs> but so, does, it, does it work, though, to just tell them roll over? Does that work? <laughs> well, in, it's almost like you're a fly on the wall in my bedroom, Michael, because I'll be like, shut up, move I over. You, I, just, I just push That's a right. little bit. I get a lot of those. Yeah. You, th <laughs> you were throwing your spouses under the bus, by the way. I just put you down. <laughs> we know it's annoying, but it can also be quite serious. Absolutely. So, you know, the snoring we can joke about even though it disturbs a lot of people's sleep. But think of the spectrum there from snoring to something called obstructive sleep apnea, which if you want to tell the difference is not just about loudness, but you'll watch the person actually stop breathing and they will stop breathing several times a night and if untreated it can lead to heart or brain issues. So let's talk about these exercises. Yes, Jesse, you're going to volunteer. <laughs> oh, awesome. Now, look, there's four exercises, eight minutes a day um, that you can start doing. And Jesse's going to bravely take us through the first one. So the first one, you're going to take the tip of your tongue, you're going to push it on the roof of your mouth and slide it backwards gently. Hold it there for two minutes. Oh, Second no. two one. Minutes? Yep. By the way, there's Second, no way to make this look appealing, by the way. <laughs> Second one, you want to suck your tongue upwards and press entirely against the roof of the mouth. Mm -hmm. Third one, mm -hmm. you want to press your tongue against the bottom teeth and back the tongue against the uh -huh. floor of your mouth. Uh -huh. And the fourth one, uh -huh. while standing on one foot, no, just kidding, <laughs> and saying A, you want to elevate the back of your mouth. Eight Aww. minutes a day. No hands. What's, what's, what are these exercises doing? So, so obviously this wasn't an evidence-based study, but the theory here is that these types of exercises might strengthen that tissue in the soft palate. And listen, they did see a slight improvement, mm. so. That's a lot of commitment. That is. You might want to do these exercises in private. Yeah. Yeah. You're all welcome. <laughs> you're also, you're also yeah. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, and you're going to take questions all morning on Twitter? Exactly. Great. Great to be the new guy, isn't it, Jesse? Awesome. <laughs> Take it for the team. <laughs> Appreciate it all.